Every farm presents unique issues when it comes to estate planning. A well-thought-out farm estate plan can do a lot for you and for your family, including protecting your farm that you've worked so hard to build. I'm Brad Swenson, President of Swenson Investments and Commodities. We take the team approach to help farmers and ranchers acquire and keep their wealth. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about nitrogen stabilization. And Darren and I right now are standing by a couple of rusty old pieces of equipment. These are actually <laughs> field cultivators, and we use these sometimes to put nitrogen on. But why is nitrogen so important to begin with? Well, nitrogen is one of the primary nutrients, along with phosphorus and potassium. These are the three nutrients that our crops typically need the most of. Yep, but here's the problem with nitrogen. Unlike phosphorus and potassium that are relatively stable in soil, nitrogen can be unstable stable in soil because it can be in a bunch of different forms. It could be in the ammonium form, the nitrate form, the ammonia form. Well, all, right, all right, well, this, what happens with it? Okay, before we get into a big chemistry lesson here, Brent, let's look at soil to begin with. Soil typically has a negative charge. That means positively charged things will attract to it, just like a magnet. You have opposites attracting. So when things are in a negatively charged form, they repel from soil. So things like nitrate, nitrogen, for example, is in a negative form, and so it repels from soil. It doesn't bind. That means it moves around with soil water and can be lost if that water goes down or that water moves away. Here's, so for yeah. crops, it's really important that nitrogen's in the right form, in a positively charged form that will actually bind to soil and be a form that crops can use. Well, the thing is though, crops can use nitrate and they can use ammonium, but the other step with all this is plants will bring in either nitrate or ammonium, and either way, they're going to convert it to ammonium in the plant. So if it's already in the ammonium state, it requires less energy for the plant. If it's in the nitrate state, it, the plant can certainly bring it in and use it and everything, but it has to convert it over to ammonium, so it takes a little bit more energy. Well, anyway, talking about this ammonium just a little bit more, that is a positively charged state that nitrogen will be in. So if it's in the ammonium form, it can attach itself to soil and it can remain in soil a little bit longer and more available for plants. Well, here's the challenge for farmers or gardeners, anybody that's growing any kind of crop, even your lawn at home. When you put nitrogen out, you can't just put out what your crop needs exactly for that day. Well, you could if you had one plant in your house, perhaps, but if you're talking about a whole field for a farmer, there's no way that he could get to every single plant, put one little tiny drop of nitrogen on it, and be good for that day and come right back the next day and do it all over again. It just isn't going to happen. So farmers have to put a dose of nitrogen out that's going to last for a period of days. Maybe it's going to last for a week. Maybe it's going to last for a month. Maybe it'll last for the whole season. But as a farmer puts that nitrogen out, there's things that are going on in the soil that are going to start working against him like, to convert that nitrogen. Right, like the urease enzyme. And this, I know this sounds maybe a little bit strange, but there's actually this thing in the soil, the urease, that can change the ammonium state of nitrogen eventually into the nitrate state of nitrogen and make it unstable, make it basically what we would call leachable. So when a big rain comes along, it can push that nitrate down through the ground. And I'm not saying this is going to happen instantly. Even if you get an inch of rain, your nitrate's probably not going to move more than just a few inches in the soil, but it's still going to most likely move down. There are several products that have been developed to keep nitrogen in a form that's protected in the soil, whether it's Nutrisphere N or in Instinct or NSERV. There are a number of different products to help prevent this denitrification from happening in your soils. And even some farmers are using different forms of fertilizer like ammonium thiosulfate as a way to kind of slow this process down. Whatever you do, if you're putting a load of nitrogen out there, it's going to last for a period of time. The smartest thing to do agronomically and environmentally is to protect that nitrogen and that's what most farmers are doing. Well Darren I don't know if I'd say most farmers are doing that but many farmers are certainly looking at that because again we've got to make sure that we've got the nitrogen in the right form so we're not losing money as farmers. We don't want our nitrogen ending up da going down into the ground or going up in the air. We want it in a form that plants can use. Well farmers are looking at this because fertilizer is very expensive on the farm and so is weed control. But controlling weeds like our weed of the week is very important. Can you identify this week's weed? 